What's going on YouTube? Arkansas Pickers back here with another video. And today we are gonna be doing the thrift haul. If you didn't watch my last haul already, it was a clock shop haul that I got from an auction, paid $330 for. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and go down below this video and go check that out because it is a really fun video. Or not fun because it's clock parts, but still. Today we are gonna be showing you the um, haul from thrift stores that I got uh, Friday, I think it was. Today's Saturday, so yesterday. Or was it Thursday? I think it was Thursday. Um, but we're gonna show you what I what all I got from those. I think I paid a total of like $80 for everything. Didn't find a whole lot, but um, it was fun to go. I kinda went by myself and just enjoyed the day. I had a day off from my college classes. So I was like, well, might as well go spin it thrifting. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So let's get started in the haul. So first things first, we got a Portland Starbucks mug. This is the You Are Here collection. Um, I paid 50 cents for it. I think I'll get $10 for it, maybe in my antique booth or on eBay. Next is this clock. It is a Panasonic. It is digital. It does work. The radio does not work. This was half off, so I only paid a dollar for it. But um, I usually do pretty good, pretty good with those in my antique booth, or that may be good on eBay. Next, I got two worship hymnals. These I always pick up old hymnals when I see them because they're at least ten dollars usually. Um, so I got two of these. I'll probably put them together for twelve to fifteen dollars. Not bad for free. This is a K and E slide rule. You know, back in the day when they used these old mathematics slide rules instead of calculators and stuff. So I paid fifty cents for this, I believe. And I don't know what model this is. You know, some models of these can go really well, especially if they have like the case and they're in good condition and everything. They can bring over $100. But that one I probably is a 15 to 20 range. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So next thing is this is a Polar Polaris, Polaris racing hat. It's kind of got a flimsy feel. I don't know. I think I paid a quarter for it. I just kind of thought it was neat looking. Um, here's a Pennzoil hat, uh, not much, but Pebble Beach hat. This is a, I think I paid 50 cents a piece for these. Lions International, you know, like the club in most towns. It doesn't, ha it's not specific to any town, so lots of people will see that. Oklahoma University, OU champion hat, probably from the 90s. It's got this burgundy color. It's got a neat feel to it. That's probably a $15 hat. And then this Kenmore filter here, I paid $5 for it. It is new and sealed. I think I'll get 20 to $25 for that one, just because I looked on eBay and most all of them had sold. And there wasn't any on. And the ones that had sold were going anywhere from 20 to $40. So I think I'll do pretty good on that. More hats here. Here's a Calvin Klein jeans hat. Don't know how good that's gonna be, but I think at least 10. Uh, Centen Continental Airlines, my bad, hat. And then an Oakland A's hat. This was from the OC Sports. Not It's 10 bucks or so. Um, but again, I paid a dollar for all those. Next is this Department 56 Halloween sign, village accessory, uh, fall festival. I looked on eBay and these were selling for roughly um, 20 to $30. So I paid two dollars for that. I'll probably just go and throw it on, and it'll pro it probably won't sell for a while because it's not close to Christmas time, but it'll sell eventually. Next, I got this wireless, or not wireless, but this um, talk wireless intercom. So it is wireless. And then this Bible here, this KJV Bible. These sell for nine to ten dollars for me, plus shipping. This I paid two dollars for, and it should sell for probably fifteen because it's in really good condition. Next, I got a bunch of ink, and this isn't really good ink, so I'm gonna wad it all together. But there's tons of them. And then there's this big package of them right here. So if y'all still ever see ink, it's always a good seller. I think I paid around eight bucks for this whole bag of ink right here. Um, but I always sell ink quick, even expired. Still pick it up because it is still gonna be a good pickup no matter. Now, sometimes they're way overpriced, but Look it up, because um, the older ones generally don't do too well, like older ink from like the early 2000s or something, but you never know. 
So always look it up. I've done really well with ink. Sold probably hundreds of ink cartridges and toners and stuff like that over the years that I've done eBay. So always look it up if you're unaware of if they may be good or not. Here are the hats that I had to pay $2.25 for. They were quite expensive, but I know they'll sell. So even with little profit, this is a Krispy Kreme hat. I think I'll get 10 to 12 for that. Um, a 47 brand Dodgers hat. Uh, let's see. 47 brand Houston Astros, the Cheaters hat. And a Pearl Harbor hat. I'll probably put this in my booth. Um, it, it was just kind of neat. It has like the aviation and the ship. Um, so I'll probably put that in the booth for 10 bucks and I bet it would sell. But I paid $2 a piece for those. So not great profit, but pay 10 to make 50 bucks or something. That's not bad at all. Next thing. Let's see here. It's 75 cents for this little ship model. It's not very good. I think I'm just going to keep it. I collect old like airplane and ship models and stuff. So I think I'll just probably keep that. And put it on my desk or something like that. And this is an Olympus recorder. I paid two dollars for it. It does work. Um, probably leech, probably twelve to fifteen dollars for that, but not bad. for two dollars. It was in the box and everything. Now, if you find this new seal, they can bring some really good money. Uh, these are called. Sorry, I'm, I'm running through a cold right now. So, Louis Garn, Louis Garniel. Flora shoes. I think they're cycling shoes. They connect to like the bike pedals and um, they're old probably from the 80s or something like that. So old for shoes but I didn't even look these up. I don't know how much they're worth. Probably not a whole lot but for a dollar I couldn't pass them up. I wasn't going to look anything up in there. Okay. Next things. This is a Schofield reference Bible. The smaller ones. Oxford, it is bonded leather, but this should be a $25 to $30 Bible. These are Wonder Bubbles from the 1980s, I believe 1987 to be exact. It's missing two of them, but there's still four in there. I think I'll get 15 to 20 bucks for that. I paid 50 cents for the entire package. This is a working tested Xbox 360 controller wireless. Um, it does have the battery compartment. Sometimes you see them without these. That's what sucks. I had to pay $5 for it, but they, they were adamant that it worked. So I was like, well, it's a $20 find if it works. So I went ahead and took a chance on it. The Revelation the seven of the Seven Seals. This is like a $10 to $15 book. Um, I paid $0.50 cents for the paperbacks that, I show, that I'm showing you, and then a dollar for the hardbacks. This is called The Baptist Heritage by Macbeth, religious book. Um, I think it's like Baptist history and stuff. That should be a $10 to $15 book. Um, here's St. Andrews, the famous golf course, the little shoe trees. Um, I paid $2.50 for those. And there weren't, there was only some on, like two on. And one was they were wanting like 50 bucks for. The other one they were wanting like 17 plus shipping. But it wasn't new. So I'm thinking new. I think I should get $15 for it. Maybe $20. For $2.50, I had to pick it up. And then a summary of Christian history by Baker. I always pick up Baker's books because they generally do pretty well for me. So that should be at least $10. Um, next thing I got is this Kenmore filter. I will just put, whenever I sell it, I will put um, a piece of cardboard over the front and the back. And then some like paper on the sides. Send it on, two pounds priority mail. Should get $15 for it. And then this wood tractor kit, it's newer. It's John Deere. I paid three dollars for it. I think I'll put it in my booth for twelve or something like that. Not a great find, but being new and sealed and John Deere, that stuff does really well around here. Okay, next thing: Saint Joseph Sunday Missal, Catholic Bible. Um, that should bring or Catholic book. I don't know. <laughs> um, that should bring ten to twelve dollars. Here's another one right here. This one's a little nicer and it's black. So again, I think I paid a dollar a piece for these. And then the last two things are an introduction to a devout life by St. Francis de Sales and how to run a lathe. Now, if you don't know what a lathe is, I do really well with lathe stuff. Um, if you ever find one, 
like they're big machine metal, metal working machines i don't really know even what they do really but uh, when i find lathe stuff i always look it up because some of it's really good money even books and like instructional books this is probably a 20 dollars book right here so that was interesting next thing a new in box third party brand um comp usa pc trackball mouse or just a trackball it's not a mouse even i think it's ten dollars i paid a dollar for it grab it it's similar to uno it is complete paid a dollar should get at least 10 the love boat game is complete i said they counted the pieces paid a dollar should be 20 and then this horseopoly it's like a horse version of monopoly and i don't know but i'll put that in my booth for probably 10 bucks um oh a few more things I pay I paid three dollars for this bird dog, bird dog, um, like data integrated system something or another. I don't really know. It doesn't work. I don't think, or it's not tested. But I looked on eBay and even not untested and or for parts they were selling for thirty to forty bucks. So I was like, well, I'll take a chance on that. Sonderman Bible, ten to fifteen dollars. By the way. All the prices I'm telling you are plus shipping. I don't do free shipping, so I just want to clarify that they are all plus shipping. Here's a Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. I have several of these as is. I mean, I think I have six or seven sitting in my garage um, that are needing to be listed, but I took another one for a dollar because they are an easy 15 to 20 bucks, and I might do a lot of them. See if I can do better that way. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's all. Uh, so kind of a shorter haul but it was good i you know i'll make i don't know three four five hundred dollars off my 80 or 90 bucks spent and we'll continue going and it's, it was a fun it was a fun day it was a fun trip and just kind of wanted to get out and when you have thrifting as like a um getaway and you can still make money then it's always great so um pretty fun time i enjoyed going and seeing what all i could find so if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and a comment tell me what you want to see next and um go ahead and hit that subscribe button we always like to see new subscribers and we're trying to grow this account so you'll, we will be posting haul videos as soon as we get the stuff so now i'm going to go ahead and sign off and work on getting this storage unit filled up and getting some listing done and continuing the haul so we will see you guys in the next video.